This video will cover the topic sine, cosine, and tangent ratios, numbers for side lengths. In this topic, we will be solving for the trigonometric ratios for sine, cosine, and tangent using the mnemonic device SOKOTOA. These acronyms represent the two sides of the right triangle needed to solve for each trigonometric ratio. Sine is the length of the leg opposite the angle over the length of the hypotenuse. Cosine is the length of the leg adjacent to the angle over the length of the hypotenuse. And tangent is the length of the leg opposite the angle over the length of the leg adjacent to the angle. Okay, I think I'm starting to understand the usefulness of this mnemonic, but can we do an example to see how it is applied? Sure. Let's look at an example problem. A right triangle has side lengths D, E, and F as shown below. Use these lengths to find tangent of X, sine of X, and cosine of X. For this example, we are trying to figure out the core concept of how to represent sine, cosine, and tangent of x as trigonometric ratios. Thus, we are using variables for the side lengths. To find the tangent, we start by identifying the opposite side and the adjacent side with respect to the angle x. f is the length of the side opposite the angle x, and e is the length of the side adjacent to the angle x, right? Exactly. This means that our value for tangent of x is f over e. Next, the sine of x is represented by the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is f over d for this problem. Lastly, the cosine of x is represented by the adjacent over the hypotenuse, yielding e over d as its trigonometric ratio. Okay, I think I'm starting to understand this topic, but can we do another quick example just to be sure? Definitely. A right triangle has side lengths A, B, and C as shown below. Use these lengths to find the tangent of X, the cosine of X, and the sine of X. For this problem, we can start by identifying the opposite and adjacent sides, and the hypotenuse. The opposite side length is B the adjacent side length is C, and the hypotenuse is A. Exactly. This means that our value for tangent of X is B over C, cosine of X is C over A, and sine of X is B over A. Okay, I think I understand this topic now, but let me quickly summarize just to be sure. We begin by identifying the sides as opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. Then substitute the appropriate values into the trigonometric ratios for sine, cosine, and tangent. That's right. 